super excited to get my hands on this hall bathroom. I feel like I've been wanting to give this a makeover for quite some time, but we are here. We're not gonna go too crazy. We're gonna save some money. We're gonna make this feel luxurious and we're gonna make this feel moody. So let's get on to the intro. Welcome to the bathroom. So we are currently in the hall bathroom and this bathroom was renovated maybe 10 to 15 years ago. Also, sorry about the noise, it's very echoey in here. But like I said, this bathroom was renovated 10 to 15 years ago and it's honestly not that bad. It's just very basic and boring. And so my goal for this is to really, for the next few days, transform this space and really make it more special and moody. Now I'm gonna get into the design a little bit later on, but I just wanted to show you quickly what we're working with. I'm just gonna show you around the bathroom here, which by the way, this bathroom is very small. So the latest thing that I did last year, actually, I painted the walls white. And what that did is it freshened up their space and made it feel a little bit larger, which I like. However, just the basic white walls, as much as I love white walls, I feel like it could be a little bit more interesting. So I'm going to do something for that. I definitely want to change out those ugly light fixtures, new bathroom mirror. Um, this vanity is going to be staying because I'm trying to keep this very affordable. So I'm not going to be ripping out tile. I'm not going to be changing up the shower or anything. But with this vanity, I'm going to be painting that. Countertop, um, I'm gonna be keeping. Um, as much as I don't like this laminate, it's gonna be staying. Uh, I think it's original to the house, which is like the late 70s. As you can see here, it's kind of like this faux stone. Now, if this were real stone, I actually really like this color. I think that would look really nice, but it's laminate, so. But we're gonna work with it. New faucet, sink is gonna stay. We're gonna be changing out the hardware, including like the towel bars and all of that want to get rid of the chrome and move into some like warmer metals and then of course the toilet paper all that so i'm not going to be changing out pretty much anything from the shower let's just ignore it for now but, but i do want to find a new um shower curtain solution here because this flowery one is not going to work <laughs> So let me share the mood board that's going on in my head. Well, first of all, the cabinet is not going anywhere. So we're just going to give it a fresh coat of black paint. I'm also really wanting to do some lime wash. I've been obsessed with it and I actually want to try it for the first time. I also have a nice sort of wall sconce that I want to incorporate. I'm really into this modern oval mirror, pretty trendy. So we're going to incorporate that somehow. I really want to do a nice modern faucet, perhaps bronze. Also, maybe a little stool here and there because stools, you can put them anywhere why not in a bathroom also really want to do some like beige curtains and just really get it moody in there a simple towel bar or a towel rack honestly just simplicity is key here i want to keep it minimal a nice little towel and maybe even some nice little uh bathroom toilet holder you know whatever we call it a hanger and of course we need a nice little soap The first and probably most important thing that I want to do for this bathroom is to lime wash the walls. Now, there's a couple steps that need to happen before I get to that point. As you can see, there's a lot of texture on these walls, so I need to take care of that. But first, I'm going to clear the room, start removing the outlet covers and all of those things. One little trick that I recently discovered is to put some tape onto the screws. I cannot tell you how many times I have lost these. but. A neat little trick that I recently discovered. Now, of course, I'm going to start removing the hardware off with the chrome. We don't want it anymore. And also removing this mirror right here. Not aesthetically pleasing, although I do have to say it's pretty great for shaving, but we're going to replace it, put something sexy off with that. As you can see, there's some layers of the old paint there. As I said, these walls have texture and I basically need to skim coat these before I do the lime wash. I want these to be smooth. Now, Jake Vidamontes from Mount Washington Weekend Project, that's his YouTube channel. What he basically did is he took some joint compound and basically just applied it over the existing texture. So that basically kind of just filled in the concavities and smoothened it out. Now I'm not looking for perfection here. In fact, the imperfections is what's going to give this character. So that is what I'm doing. I will leave the link to his video below in case you want to check it out. But you all, this is looking way better. <laughs> I tripped. 
So it is the following day and I let the joint compound dry overnight. I got my paint clothes on, getting ready to prime, but before that I'm gonna lightly sand the walls just to knock off any excess texture. Now keep in mind, I'm not going for a perfect smooth wall. I am gonna just embrace some of those imperfections. I think it'll really add to the character and go really well with that lime wash paint. I also have to hurry because I have to finish filming another video, which you probably would have seen already. What a mess. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep it real with you. This is probably the worst part of this entire makeover. In fact, I hated this moment, but basically I had to sand off the walls and just to get them nice and smooth, maybe knock off any excess texture. And I'm just using a sanding block here that I have. I'm no professional here, I'm just using what I have. Again, this was really annoying. It made a huge, huge mess that I then had to clean up with a vacuum and then dust off. It was just annoying, annoying, annoying. But at the end of the day, I think this was worth it. Well, I hope so. The next step before lime washing the walls is to apply primer, but it can't be any old primer. It has to be the primer specified by the lime wash paint you use. In this case, I'm just using an acrylic based primer, which would end up working fine, but definitely use the one that is recommended. Good morning. So I let the primer dry overnight. Now it's finally the day we've been all been waiting for. No, not the reveal. We're gonna lime wash the walls. And I'm honestly a little bit nervous because I've never done it before. And all of the work that's gone into this just to get to this point. And if it doesn't work out, oh my gosh. But I watched lots of videos, so I'm feeling pretty confident. Um, and I feel like this type of technique, you can't mess up. But what do I know? Now many sources say lime wash paint is environmentally friendly, hypoallergenic, and has lots of great benefits compared to just regular household paint. I think that's great and I really like the way it looks. Now I'm using Sydney Harbour's internal lime wash paint. This is in the color Mountain Ash. Now I am not an expert at applying this kind of paint yet. So I'm still trying to figure out the technique, but basically from what I gathered from watching lots of YouTube videos is you're kind of making clouds, connecting them somehow, kind of that fade into each other. Um, and not painting over what you already painted because that kind of just ruins the technique. Um, basically, watch some YouTube videos. Um, I'll maybe link some below, but I really just kind of enjoyed this process here. So let's just take a moment and appreciate what the outcome is. And by the way, I did end up doing two coats. I allowed the lime wash paint to fully dry. In this case, it was like 100 degrees out, so it dried rather quickly, but this would also be a good time to add to the sealer, just depending on where the application is. The next part of the makeover was to paint the cabinet. Now here I am unmounting the doors just to make it easier to work with. Of course, I lightly sanded and now I am priming just to get some good coverage and make it durable. The color that I went with is called Black Magic by Valspar or whatever they use over at Lowe's. It's a great color, not too cool, not too warm. It's amazing what a fresh coat of paint can do. And by the way, I recommend a foam roller just to get this as smooth as you can. That's what I like to do at least. I gave the cabinet two to three coats of paint. Now that I let that fully dry, I'm topping this off with some poly acrylic just to give it a protective finish. All right, so we're getting really close to completion. One thing I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna give the door a fresh coat of white paint as well as the trim. I know it's such a small detail, but it makes a big difference. The last thing we want is crusty, dirty trim work and door in our nicely renovated bathroom. So that is my tip for you today, is to give your trim and doors a fresh coat of paint, or at the very least, give it a good wipe down. I know it's annoying, but it makes a difference. All right, you all, we are in the home stretch of this bathroom makeover. Now, the color that I am using is called Ultra White by Valspar. And maybe it's just me being weird, but I find it very satisfying to paint doors and trim. I think it's just like the fresh white paint. I don't know, is it just me or does anyone else find this satisfying? But anyways, I want to invite you to check me out on Instagram. I love it when you all come say hi over there. I do home decor, sometimes bonus DIYs, some lifestyle and things like that. Come say hi, come share the projects that you're working on. I'd love to connect with you over there. All right, I'm getting kind of antsy, so let's just get to the final reveal. But of course, I did change out the faucet, which let me tell you, it was a piece of work because there was issues with the plumbing. It was a whole situation, but I got it taken care of. So let's look at the final touches.
I am beyond thrilled with the way this minimal bathroom turned out. Now of course this was a pretty simple transformation, but definitely a lot of work went into this. As a reminder, this was any small budget. So here's the final reveal, but first, here's what it looked like before. very happy with the way this bathroom turned out. Definitely took a little bit of time, but I think it was well worth it. I'm actually very excited to use the bathroom now. Now keep in mind that this makeover was on a smaller budget, so I wasn't ripping out any tile or changing out cabinets or new countertops or anything like that. Pretty much it was just a cosmetic upgrade and I really feel like it made a huge difference. It feels a little bit more cozy, minimal, perhaps even high end. I just overall really like the vibe in here. So let's just do a little walkthrough. So let's talk about the vanity and it definitely added more modern elements here and I'm here for it. First of all, I really like the color that I went with for the cabinet. It's called Black Magic by Valspar or whatever they use over at Lowe's. Really like that color. I kept the original hardware, including the door poles. These are sort of, I think it's bra of bronze, I should say, but it might be brass, I'm not exactly sure. I really like the patina to it though. So I kept those. Now in terms of the actual countertop, not my favorite, but I said I wasn't gonna replace it. Um, so I didn't, and I think this might be original to the house. It's like this formica laminate situation. Um, it kind of looks like, it's supposed to look like stone. And if this were real stone, I would totally be into it, but it's not, but we're gonna make it work. Now this actual sink right here, I kept it as is. This was replaced last year, so. A simple way to upgrade your sink area is to change out your faucets. That is what I did here. I added this more modern style faucet. This one is a bronze finish, not brass, bronze. I really like that finish right now. Um, and I really like the way that kind of just like this, the water stains on it, it looks nice. Um, let me tell you, finding center set faucets that look nice is very hard, but I did my research and I found a couple of them, might link them down below, but I really like this one. I think this one's by Allen and Roth. Um, and yeah, I really like the way that it looks on here. Now, let's talk about hand soap. Hand soap is just hand soap, right? You can get cheap soap, you can get expensive soap. I decided to invest in some good soap and I got this one by Aesop. No, this is not sponsored, but I'm really loving this soap. It actually smells incredible and it actually does not dry out your hands. It just adds to the whole ritual situation of the bathroom, would recommend. I went with the simple modern oval mirror, pretty trending these days but I really like it and if I get sick of it, I can easily swap that out in the future. Now for the vanity lighting, I went with these modern globe style wall sconces right here. I actually DIY these and basically I just took some simple basic globe light fixtures. They're like 10 or $15 and then I did like a brushed bronze technique to them. Also did, uh, created these like faux alabaster rings on them that light up nicely using some resin. I really had fun making those. Definitely check out that video. As you know, I love branches around here. And on the countertop, I went with this vintage face that I found, put some branches on there, a little bit of green on there, strategically placed so that I don't poke my eye out when I'm washing my face. Now you might be wondering where Jorge, where are all your things? They are under the cabinet right here, or in the cabinet, um, put some shelves on there. I don't have a lot of things, so I don't really have problems with storage. As you see, I'm keeping everything minimal around here, including the hardware, and I just added the simple matte black towel holder. It's steel, and I got this at an architectural store a couple of years ago, and it's just been following me around since. Simple. I added this simple wall art piece that I did. This is in my West Elm DIY video. Check it out, very simple. But one thing that I really like about um, lime washed walls is that they look really nice. They have this nice texture to it. 
You don't need to throw a whole bunch of things on there. You can just keep it simple. Um, so that's what I'm doing here. I really like this minimal toilet paper holder. I got it on Amazon for like less than $10. It's matte black and I love it. Sorry for the weird lighting, but we're here in the corner of the bathroom and there's actually this like little nook situation right here. Perfect for some built-in shelves or cabinet. For now, I just left it as is and just put some towel hooks right here and then just a little basket with some toilet paper. Also, I'm using some Venetian blinds for the window here. They're not the most interesting to look at, but they do what I need them to do in here. Honestly, the shower was fine and did not need any work, so I just left it as is. It's actually one of those like tub and shower situations. Not my favorite, but it is what it is. But let me show you a cool shower curtain trick. So, shower curtain tricks, I had the worst luck finding good ones out there. Like, I'm not looking for rubber duckies or anything like that. There's a couple good ones out there, but for the most part, they're eh. So, one thing I've been doing for years now is just using regular window curtains for the shower curtains. Um, because you can get some extra long length if you have like tall ceilings and you get some like nicer fabrics or things like that. These right here um, are like these beige color. I will link them down below, but these are actually like the slider door windows. So these are extra long or extra wide, I should say. I went ahead and doubled them up just so it looks a little bit more full. And with the tension rods, I actually have two, one for these curtains and then another one for the shower liner. Trust me, this has been game changer. Um, just make sure that you steam them or iron them so that you don't have any wrinkles. All right, so that does it for this bathroom makeover. It took me a little bit of time, but I think it was well worth it. I'm really loving the bathroom. I think the lime wash paint took it to the next level. Let me know what you think or if you have any questions. Now, of course, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm going to put a playlist of other DIYs that I've done that I think you might enjoy. But have an amazing day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!